right, so Ahead by a Century by the Tragically Hip. Uh, this one was released on the uh, Trouble at the Hen House album in 1996. And for me, this has always been my favorite uh, Tragically Hip song. And I know um, a lot of people, other than people in Canada, may not know too much about the Tragically Hip, but in Canada, which is where I'm from, they're one of our biggest bands that have been for a long time. Anyways, they're on a, a farewell tour now because their lead singer, Gord Downey, uh, was diagnosed with a terminal illness, so this really will be their farewell tour. Anyways, uh, this song, uh, it's a great song. You know, it's a very poetic kind of song. Gord Downey, uh, probably amongst everything that he is, he's, he's first and foremost a poet. And uh, it's a beautiful song. You know? Anyway, so... If you see uh, YouTube videos of these guys playing this, you can see that Gord Downey is playing it in D, uh, just standard D, right? And uh, But the thing is, the other guy, um, Rob Baker, he's playing it in open tuning, okay? And the, the whole key to playing this song properly is to get the right open tuning. All right, so what you want to do, and I'll put the tuning below in the video here, is you want to tune to open C, okay? So we've got C... E string is C, we're tuning way down here, and then the A string is G, D string is C, G string stays the same at G, um, and then the B string you're going to tune up to a C, and in just a straight open C, that high E string would just stay an E, but and this is the trick to this song, right? Is it's open C, but then you're going to take that high E and bring it down to a C. So those last two strings, the B and the E string, the exact same note, a C. Okay, and that's the tuning for the song. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start up here. Uh, first of all, sorry, I forgot. we got to capo this, right? So we're going to capo on the second fret. And, of course, that's going to bring it into the key of D. And just give me a second while I... Because when you put the capo on, the strings go sharp, right? So just give me a second. I'll adjust the tuning. Okay, that's pretty good. And remember, don't uh, open C tune it with the capo on, right? You know, make sure the capo's off. Tune to open C with, you know, the E string uh, down to a C as well. And then put the capo on. And then it'll be sharp, I guarantee it, because when you put a capo on, it pretty well always goes sharp. Now it's fine to tweak the tuning after you got the capo on, right? But don't do major tunings with the capo on, because the strings will just snap like crazy, right? Okay, so the first figure is going to be up here. And um, I'm just going to talk about these frets as if we're going from the nut, okay? Not the capo, because it'll just make more sense to you. So we're going to go A11 and G11. That'll be our first figure. Now, we're going to take that and slide it down two frets. That's our second figure. And now we're going to add our little finger to B9. So we're going to get... Right, that's our third figure. So we've got... We're going to be back here. And then we do that little lick, which is... Just take our third finger off, and we're kind of on the G string there. And then we're going to slide this down two frets at our first finger here on D8. So we've got. There, right? Right? I'll just play the whole thing once real slow. Hopefully you can get that. I'll do it real slow again. That's on the B string, right? Now, if you miss the G and hit the B string, it's not a big deal. Okay, but we want to try and keep on the G string there. 
here. Right? Okay, so slow again. play this just with my finger um, you could use a pick too right and the basic strumming I'll show you with a pick because I think most people will use a pick it's you know like all the strumming stuff you can only go up or down right so right so it's down up. singing starts and we're just going to go into this okay and it's just open right and we're kind of kind of following the singing and actually uh, it's sort of more going from the G string you can hit the B and the E string because of the same note, but if you want to just contain it to the G string there, so we're going to be like coming out of this. And it's just off, 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 off. And we do that lick, which is the hammer on A2 or <laughs> A4 from the nut. And what I do is because the G string and the A string are the same notes, I hammer on the G string too. So. Now we're gonna go to this chord here, which is, um, D5, or sorry, A5, D4, and G5. Okay, and... Um, back here. And now, um, there's certain times where he's gonna bar the G and the B string there on the fourth fret. Well, we want to we want to keep that E string open. So we've got and he'll go take it up two fret. It's tricky to get that. Right? So far we've got that E string open. So then we're back into the lick. And then we're into the, uh, that's when the down to here. To, right, you could just right, but get it, get that in there, and all the better. 
Okay, then we're into the chorus, okay? And the first chord in the chorus is just like an A7. Just play an A7, but put your little finger up here on uh, the fourth fret, second from the capo, right, of the E string. So we've got that, okay? That's the first chord of the chorus. The second chord of the chorus is here. Is take your A7, move it down one string, take your little finger off. First chord, second chord. So it's. Now on that chord, don't play the E string. Mute, you can mute that with the tip of that second finger. All those parts repeat okay as the song goes on but those are the basic parts now in that chorus when we go from that chord you know he throws that look in there so it's a little finger up here get that it's a little tricky to get that but if you can throw it in all the better okay and that's it for the course and then we're Other things that he's doing in there too, you know, he's throwing in some improvisational stuff, but that's the basic core of the song, okay? Really, really, really nice song. Um, and really, uh, you know, because I think a lot of people will just play it in standard D and just try to fudge those lines and stuff. But once you get the, your guitar into the right tuning, um, you know, there's just no comparison. Way it sounds um, compared to just standard D tuning, okay? And that's it. Yeah, great song, beautiful song. Um, very sad situation with those guys. And, uh, you know, this, I'm putting this up as sort of a tribute to them because uh, they're just one of the great Canadian bands, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you enjoyed playing this song. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>